Hello and welcome to Boulevard 40. My name is Kenya and I will be doing a Bible dictionary review in today's video. So the Bible dictionary that I will be reviewing is the same dictionary that I use in my daily Bible readings here on this channel. It is the Nelson's Compact Series Bible Dictionary. This Bible Dictionary was produced by Ronald F. Youngblood, F. F. Bruce, and R. K. Harrison. So this is a small and compact dictionary, but it is uh, kind of chunky. I think I got this for about eight or nine dollars at my local Christian bookstore. As you can see from me flipping through it, this is a, the size of the fonts. And the pictures in here are all in black and white. There are photographs as well as, as well as sketches of different concepts that are being explained from the Bible. And it is in alphabetical order, noted by the tabs that you can see on the side of the pages. So this Bible dictionary is a paperback and it boasts having 7,000 entries. It says that it is for the reader in a hurry because when people are turning to a dictionary, a Bible dictionary, it's usually for basic information, not to identify obscure people or places. Um, they are the 1,000 most important entry entries on people places, things, doctrines, and themes. And it, they do admit that they leave out a lot of the extra details to make it easier to get to essential information. One thing that I did notice, some things that I were able to find in here, um, most helpful were how to pronounce the names of cities and how to pronounce the names of people and even the meanings of people's names. But also, um, like for example, for the topic of idolatry and pagan worship, I was not able to find Asherah poles, which is something that is discussed in the book of Kings, but it does give details on the Ashtoreth, the goddess of Ashtoreth. Um, even though it gave information on the book of the goddess of Ashtoreth, it did not give details into one of the gods that children were being sacrificed to, which was Molech. So I did have to use an outside source for Molech. So even though there isn't great detail on a lot of things, when there are pictures given, they are pretty detailed to give you a good idea of what was being discussed in the Bible. And like here, um, going into detail about the altar of incense, it gives a little bit of background information as to why King Uzziah was afflicted with leprosy when he attempted to light the incense himself instead of giving that right to the priests that were designated for that task. There are two maps at the end of this dictionary uh, talking about the nations of Genesis and also the journeys of Abraham. I would consider that as a bonus because after all, this is just a Bible dictionary, a compact version of it, not to be confused with a Bible concordance. In other Bibles, there may be a dictionary and concordance combo in the back, like I have, like I'm showing you here. In this particular Bible that I have, it gives you a brief meaning of the words as well as where to find it in the Bible. So that's a combo. And then this one here, is strictly a concordance which is concepts and ideas in the bible and it will take you directly to that scripture without really giving any types of detail or description so this has been my review of my nelson's compact bible dictionary i hope that you found it helpful if you did find it helpful let me know with a thumbs up and if you know of one person that could find this video helpful make sure to share it with them i also did a review on my bible study guide so make sure to check out that video too links to this bible dictionary and other literature that i use can be found in the description box i look forward to answering your feedback in the comment section below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next bible reading party or in my next bible topic video.